All right, guys, we're going to get started. Um, just give me a second here. just want to get to, it looks like uh, Larry got his PowerPoint up and running. All right, before we get started, I'll do a quick little intro for Larry. Just want to let everybody know, welcome to Closing Bell. We do this every Tuesday, and we always bring in our, our uh, fellow channel partners and educators, people that have been working for several uh, years in the industry that we'd like to introduce all of you to kind of hear what it's like about trading, if it's stocks, if it's options, if it's forex, if it's psychology, if it's futures. And uh, what we always kind of try, try to bring some of the great contributors um, that help educate you guys and everyone all over the world how to trade in these markets. Uh, because that is one of the 90% of your time that's being spent is in education. And that's why, we, you know, we actually, we, you know, well, uh, that's why we um, actually had Larry Gantz come in here because I really like this topic. What he's going to really be talking about, basically, um, you know, Larry's president and founder of the Power Cycle Trading uh, on uh, Trading Course uh, Company. But he's going to be talking about you know options. I'm, not, I'm sorry, not options. <laughs> he's going to be spending a lot of time talking about how to profit from earnings announcements. And and we're going into a really big earnings session right now. And uh, that's why I thought it'd be a good time to bring you in. So he's going to talk about for an hour, ladies and gentlemen, and he's going to cover a lot of great content for all of you guys. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the questions. And in the meantime, this is going to be recorded, so you'll be able to watch it later in a future time if you want to review it over again. So don't want to take too much time away from, um, from Larry. Larry, you know, the stage is all yours. Thank you very much for having me here today, and uh, appreciate everybody showing up. So yeah. Uh, we're going to kick off earnings uh, actually this week, and uh, tomorrow we get into some really good ones. So we're going to talk about uh, earnings season, how you can profit from it uh, using non-directional option strategies. So let's get going here. And um, first off, the following uh, webinar is purely for educational purposes. Any stocks, options, futures, ETFs mentioned does not constitute advice and should not be construed as a recommendation. Um, a little bit of background on myself. Uh, I've been actively trading for over 30 years uh, professionally, and I was previously executive vice president uh, for one of the largest oil trading companies in the world, and I ran their um, international trading desk uh, for over 10 years out of Bermuda, so it was a fantastic experience. That's where I got introduced to options back in the mid-80s, trading options on cargoes of crude oil. Uh, we went on to trade all the different derivative markets, you know, from uh, all the different bond futures to, to equity futures internationally, and finally went into Forex in a big way just because of liquidity there. So uh, great learning experience for me. Pretty much if it moved, we traded it. Um, so a good background there. Went on to launch the, from after I left the, this company, I went on to launch the over-the-counter crude brokerage option desk for PVM Oil out of London. Uh, the largest privately owned oil brokerage company in the world and another great experience because I uh, worked with some big option structures, a lot of clients were you know hedge funds in the major banks so it was a lot of fun and very interesting, learned a, learned a great deal there. So hopefully uh, I can pass on a few things to everybody here in the room today and you know um, my passion is really for options and uh, I always kind of like to get a, an idea though for everybody that's in the room so uh, as far as you know how many of you would like to be more active in the markets trading. Maybe you already are, or maybe you want it as a full-time job uh, and on your own schedule, but you're not quite there yet. You're, you know, just something is holding you back. So just like to get an answer, either a yes or no, for you know where you are as far as wanting to go forward and trade full-time or uh, what that looks like for you. So yes or no in there, and yes. Yep. Okay, seeing lots of yeses, lots of people would love to go full time. <laughs> Lost a lot and want to get it back. Sure, understand that. Okay, well, great. Well, uh, I, what, I'd like to start off by just saying that you know I can still I vividly remember when I went out on my own. So I was just like you before. I I used to trade other people's money, and it was totally different from when you go out doing your own thing. And I was first very, very nervous, you know, about having my own uh, money on the line. It, totally different, pe you know, feeling for me versus other people's money where I was trading. Um, I have a wife, two boys in college, and I've got plenty of expenses, so I really get it about having your own money out there on the line. Now, when I was running the international trading desk, 
uh, I found myself in a lot of nerve-wracking trading situations, but at the end of the day, I really uh, it really didn't affect me personally, you know, unless I blew up my boss's trading account, which I never did, thank goodness. But you know, it wasn't my money at risk. It was not my savings. Uh, it was the guy I was running the desk for, and uh, he was the owner of the company and a very extremely uh, extremely wealthy person. So a lot lot uh, a lot different there as far as having your own dollars out there. Now, I wanted to say trading for my own account, it really improved, though, once I learned how to better control my risk. And the huge breakthrough for me was learning how and then committing to limiting my downside in any trade taken by using option spreads. So once I committed to this, uh, not only did I start improving my trading results, but I also could sleep a lot better at night. And I really believe that about probably 60 to 80 percent of, of trader success really comes from how you emotionally handle the markets. Uh, and it can really come down to keeping in check you know, those big time emotional feelings that, that you have that surface from fear and greed. Right now we're going through a fearful kind of market, so it's, it's a matter of keeping your you know, emotions under control and knowing you know, your, your risk involved in your trading. So when you know your maximum risk or maximum loss you can incur based on your trading setup, and I, what I use is option strategies, then you, these fears are really relieved. And you know the really cool thing too is that uh, when you're using options, uh, it allows you to completely control your risk uh, when using option spread setups. So you decide, you can decide ahead how much risk you're going to have and then you can structure the trade accordingly. So it's really that simple uh, and that's why I'm excited also here to, today to be talking to you guys about earnings and, and using options for that. Um, so with the earnings season, you know, stocks tend to get some really great spikes and this, this allows the smarter traders to capitalize on all that uncertainty that you know, surrounds an earnings release. And the, the cool thing too is that you know it's coming four times a year. So instead of sitting on the sidelines, uh, I found it you know, very uh, um, profitable and also exciting to be trading these earning type announcements. So I actually get really excited about earnings. And you know I'm an option trader, so you know what could beat high volatility and knowing how to trade right through it. So I kind of want to put that out there, and uh, so let's get started. Uh, also, if you can uh, try to hold your questions to the end, and, and I should hopefully have plenty of time to to take your questions and address those. So ask yourself this: Now, what if you could add a new stream of income now? Uh, would it change your life? And if the answer is yes, then do you have a, a plan to achieve that goal? Well, what I put together here for you guys to today to review this is a five-step plan um, for earning season success. And what this does is goes through and shows you how to find volatility and use it to your advantage. Uh, a screening process I put together to find the most probable winners. Uh, a vital nine-step stock trading checklist that I use. I like very systematic type trading. Uh, my favorite trading tools for earnings and my favorite non-directional earnings strategy. Uh, so, you know, many income streams can really take years to achieve considering the amount of education and work that's usually required. But what if you could learn in only a few hours how to add a new income stream by creating option spreads uh, that would capitalize on stocks reporting their earnings? So have you ever been confused by that weird, the movements in stock that are so weird prices during earnings season announcement? You know, you have, have you noticed that earnings sometimes are horrendous and the stock goes up? Uh, our earnings can be off the chart fantastic and the stock goes down. So I call this the earnings confusion. So I'm sure everybody's experienced and that's why a lot of, a lot of traders just sit on the sidelines because of this confusion in the marketplace. And so what's up with that? What causes all this uncertainty and confusion? Well, when a company has its earnings conference scheduled, many times there's speculation not only into the accuracy of their projected earnings or EPS, but also the other factors that they may announce as well that could surprise the market. Uh, one of the big ones, you know, about two quarters ago was when uh, Apple announced a seven for one split at their earnings announcement and that really, you know, pushed the market like crazy on Apple. So it's things like that that can just go haywire. So it's this uncertainty, uh, the uncertainty of all this typically causes volatility in the shares themselves and the diamond in the rough is actually the temporary parabolic increase in the exchange list and options on the underlying shares due to all this volatility that jumps in. Now, here's what happens. Traders tend to stay on the sidelines going into the days leading up to earnings conference. 
and call buyers will basically swap out shares of stocks uh, for long call options so that they can still participate in a rise should the shares move higher, but they also want to limit potential losses should the shares trade lower. So you see all this demand coming in to buy call options, and that kind of increases the demand and implied volatility and increases premium. So this causes the calls to trade in many cases at drastically expanded volatility levels. Uh, additionally, then put buyers come in to force the options higher as, as they come in to buy protection to hedge their long positions. So you have the call buyers, the put buyers, they're all coming in pretty much in the same kind of window and this all this demand pushes the implied volatility up. Implied volatility affects the price of options and the option premium. So as an individual trader, uh, you can take advantage of all this uncertainty and volatility in order to capture profits, no matter what those crazy earnings reactions are, if you just know the right setup. So step one is, then how do you identify and qualify a particular stock by looking at its past performance heading into earnings? That's what I first do. I want to look at their past performance to see if there are any trends to a stock as it goes into its earnings announcement or earnings release. And then you want to find those stocks that have their earnings release closest to a weekly option expiration or the week of its monthly option expiration. So I want to trade the stock using options and I only want to trade an option contract or a stock that's uh, announcing its earnings that has a stock that uh, or an option that expires at the end of the week. What tends to happen is you can get some big spikes up or down and they might last for two to three days but then they're over and, and you get a total reversal. So I've found just from experience uh, that if you sh use the shorter duration options for periods of maybe two to three days at the most you can capture these big spikes up or down and it's a lot easier to get consistent winning trades. So step two is then to look back and back test to see what the volatility has done previously uh, to stocks as, uh, as they move closer to their earnings release and after. Now there are three basic kind of trades going into earnings and um, what you'll tend to find is that there's kind of the, uh, in a trending market, right now we're in a really volatile up and down market. So it's not maybe quite as sound as far as uh, a trading um, uh, vehicle for, for trading into earnings, but what happens is you'll get pre-announcements on some stocks um, and they'll come out and say, hey, our earnings were, are going to be better uh, than our earnings release coming up in the next week or two or they're going to be worse. And so you'll get kind of a, uh, a sell-off or, or a bid up. And so what, what is good is then if you find that kind of stock that's in a pre-announcement, I think SWKS was one today. I believe that's the right ticker. I had it. I was going to show you the chart, but anyway, that is one stock that pre-announced that their earnings are going to be better uh, than when they release it on the sixth of November. So then, what happens if, if you can get into a cycle trend as it goes up? Not only are you catching the up move uh, from the stock, but you're also going to uh, to catch the implied volatility increase, which increases the option premium. So you get. Uh, a double dose of a good momentum to the upside based on the increase in implied volatility which increases the premium uh, and plus if you find something that's trending so this might be a good one here I'm following it today and I'm going to look at it tomorrow possibly put on a trade so that's one uh, particular trade into earnings the second one that we'll be pretty much discussing here today is an earnings announcement release so when you get a stock you know it closes and then it announces its earnings after the close it either spikes a lot of times up or it will spike down or it'll go nowhere. So there are a couple of different trade strategies to take advantage of this that are non-directional option strategies that uh, I employ. And then the third is there are a lot of stocks that will trend in the direction of their earnings release anywhere from two to three to four weeks after they release their earnings. So uh, you know if for example if they have an earnings and they release it and it starts climbing up for the next two to three days. There's some stocks you can go back and study that'll just trend in the direction of that release for the next two to three weeks, either up or down. So there are three different kinds of trades. Today, though, we're going to focus on that earnings announcement trade. So I wanted to point that out. Let me get rid of this pin. Now, the smart trader is going to be looking for the dramatic increases in front and second month volatility you know, a few days prior to the earnings call. 
Uh, and this is known uh, as an increase in the volatility skew of an option. So uh, a stock's front month volatility uh, is normally around 25 to 30 percent, but when its earnings are a couple days out, uh, that you'll see that uh, its volatility starts to increase quite a bit, uh, and the implied volatility goes up to extremes. Uh, here's an example. Here was SanDisk, the last earnings cycle, uh, July 16th, and you can see the front month uh, jumped up to 72.18 percent, where you can see the second month uh, was 49.95. So you can see that skew really popped on that front month with only three days to expiration. So that's what we're kinda, you know, looking for, that kind of jump in the front month or that increased volatility skew, and then we want to take advantage of that. So this is what makes the stock uh, a potentially great trading candidate. Now normally, you know, volatility can double and in some cases uh, can be even more extreme than that. And, and this is what we want to look for. This is what pre presents that opportunity for trading uh, an earnings release. And it's for this reason, uh, it is essential to have a watch list of stocks to monitor closely due to the fact that they may not all present what I call an equal opportunity for an earnings trade. Now you want to remember that the goal is to take advantage of the temporary rise in the volatility. Uh, as it goes into its release. So a stock option basically needs volatility, and without volatility, you have no price movement, and without price movement, you pretty much have no chance to turn a profitable trade. So how can you find that volatility and then turn it to your advantage? So it's for this important reason, volatility, that I put together a process that I use for building a high probability trading list of stocks to trade into their earnings release. And I look exclusively for high volatility stocks based on past performance into earnings uh, with weekly options or an option that will expire at the end of the week uh, of its announcement, of earnings announcement. So this screen, it uses and tracks the following data uh, for all stocks that I select. So I look at the stock's volatility. Uh, the stock must trade over a million shares per day so it can have liquidity. Uh, I track the straddle costs for the volatility into its earnings. Uh, then I use also pre-earnings implied volatility, which helps me to forecast the expected implied move of the stock after the earnings release. I look at the prior post-earning moves from one day to 21 days after to see if there's any trends that follow. And you know I look at those historic statistics from past earnings uh, to show me what the trends are. It could be up, down, could be that it does nothing. So now one major element though to trading an earnings release successfully is to know the stock's implied volatility or its expected implied move and then how to use this information to trade the setup. So this number is expressed as a percentage of the stock price uh, indicating uh, what we call a one standard deviation move over the course of the stock's option cycle. So it's this statistical forecast of probability uh, that is the foundation of an earnings trade. So here's an example. So if the implied move uh, in the marketplace uh, is ex it expects the price of the stock to do in theory, that's, it's a theoretical implied move. But these are statistics that are given to you and made by the market makers uh, and are theoretically put together by option models. So based, and it's all based on the at the money option price. So here's an example just kind of to, to illustrate uh, what I'm talking about here, how we use this. So we're going to use this Google, and we're going to say Google has an expiration in three days. And the expected move, this is all free information on your option platform, the expected move for Google over its three days into expiration is plus or minus 4%. So it's trading at the money right now in this example at $500. The expected move says it's going to either go up 4% or down potentially 4%, which is $20 plus or minus by expiration. So what that says is that in this example, this is a distribution curve, and this shows you a one standard deviation move. So the expected move is a one standard deviation move that the market makers give you. And in this case, they're expecting that Google will trade between 480 and $520 by expiration, and in this case it's three days. That equals a 68.2 probability that it will trade between these two numbers. So going into the trade, 
you know, if you're short 480 or short 520, you've got basically a 68.2 percent probability that you're going to be successful, that the, that it's going to close in between. That's basically how you look at it. And then, you know, the probabilities get even less that it's going to close greater than 520. So you've only got almost a 16 percent chance of that, very low, or 15.9 percent chance that it can close below 480 in three days. So these are the probability statistics that you look at when you're a lot of times trading options where you're uh, looking for target prices and that's what I do for an earnings trade. I look at what the expected move is and then I set up the trade setup is based on that expected move, either a greater, either bigger expected move or less than, than uh, the expected move or that one standard deviation trade. So that's kind of basically the foundation of it. So it's this implied move is what the marketplace expects that stock to do in theory and this is the fastest way to calculate that move. So, you know, although it's not always 100% accurate, the implied volatility and using the implied move of an option is a very, very useful tool and it's also free. Uh, it's a free tool on any option platform so you can use this for forecasting a stock's price movement uh, into its expiration, option expiration. So again, it is what the marketplace expects the stock to do in theory. So that's where I kind of start out to look and put together my uh, option trade setups. Um, so step three is that I go through my pre-earnings checklist uh, to uh, set up a trade. And I like to have things systematic so I have a step-by-step-by-step -step -step approach so I don't miss a step and make a mistake. So this helps me to do the same kind of set up each and every time over and over again and it really helps as a trader to have systems in place where you kind of do things the same way each and every time. So what I'm looking at on this checklist is first the stock must have options uh, and option liquidity must have high pre-earnings volatility. I want high volatility stocks because I want the stocks usually the, the, my favorite strategy is to have a stock that will move past that implied move either up or down. Uh, stocks must have had price moves, what I look at is greater than 3%. I want a 3% move over the last three earnings cycles uh, and I also want price, prices of the stock to be $50 or higher. And I found that you know, if you have a higher price stock, it, you know, a, a smaller percentage move makes a higher dollar uh, profit for you, right? So you know, like a price line, if price line moves, you know, it's a $1,000 stock thousand dollar stock and it moves you know one percent you know that's ten dollars versus you know something that's a ten dollar stock and it moves one percent you know that's just not enough to make it worthwhile trading so I like stocks the sweet spot is usually fifty dollars minimum and the better ones are usually you know seventy five dollars on up so those are the kind of stocks that I like to look for and with this type of non-directional option tr strategies where you're using the weekly options, it really doesn't matter what the price is because as long as the you know, liquidity is there because you, know, you have uh, taken out, stripped out a lot of the time value so the stock uh, prices can be very, very cheap and reasonable. Uh, so then what I do is I want to calculate the implied stock move on the day of its earnings announcement. So that's key. I do the actual trade setup right there on the day of announcement and I try to do it as close to a closing price as I can to get that kind of benchmark price for my, my uh, uh, post earnings uh, announcement of the, the, the uh, earnings announcement. So I then perform that earnings price target analysis. I select the appropriate weekly option strategy. I've got four, usually four different strategies that I like to look at. Uh, I select the option strikes and expiration date of entry, determine exit plan, so I do that, all that is part of my pre-checklist checkoff. Um, so here's kind of like a worksheet that I'll use, this was on SanDisk, so you can see here what I've got, gone through is I take my statistics and I've gone back through the earning cycles for the last, on this one it has six cycles, so you've got July 2014 which was the last one, uh, April, Jan, October, and so then what I do is I look at, okay, where did it close right that day of its earnings announcement, have all those closing prices, what was the implied move, what was the market saying the implied move would be based on its implied volatility at closing, 
So here's all that data. And then what was the price, you know, what did it do the day after the earnings announcement and what did it do the day of expiration after that earnings announcement? So then I look at those statistics and I can see that you, you can see here on Sandus the implied move when you average it up uh, on average that implied move they've been looking for a 6.4 percent up or minus up or down move after an earnings release. Now when I look back over what it actually did and I average those together I can see that it exceeded what the market makers were saying as far as that implied move. One sec. Uh, sorry about that. So you can see here the price change after one day 6.92 percent so that exceeds what the implied move has been each earnings uh, on the close and then at expiration it's even been greater. So this is a good candidate, good trade candidate for a trade that would exceed that one standard deviation implied move. So you know based on knowing this information then I can structure tra uh, an option strategy non-directional that will take advantage of this thing you know being outside of that 6.4 percent ban either to the upside or downside it doesn't matter just as long as it it's greater than that 6.4 percent so that's the basis of one strategy and it's a really good one so that's kind of an earnings checklist that I go through and that's kind of a, the, the looks of a worksheet that I use on each and every trade so step four then is that weekly options why use weekly options well weeklies are still one of the most lucrative trading opportunities that exist today due to their defined risk, their low cost, and highly levered returns that they offer you. Um, so, you know, with a weekly, you've got less theta or less time value in the options, so it presents you with some cheap options that you can buy, or it uh, presents you with uh, options that you can really take advantage of just accelerated theta decay depending on the strategy that you're looking to do. Um, so the mechanics, what makes them work? So I use the weeklies uh, for all my earnings trades or I'll use the monthly as long as it has an expiration uh, during that week uh, of an earnings release. So, so, so you can have a monthly option expiration and you'll have stocks that are uh, announcing during that option week and I will do, you know, then you could do the monthlies on those. So what you're looking for is to take advantage of time value and the implied volatility. So it's the combination uh, of these elements, when used correctly, uh, that create this winning, low-cost, um, defined risk trading formula that can really generate some unmatched high returns on your trading capital and in a very kind of short period of time. So that's why I like to use them the short duration they offer you. And here's you know, a, a time graph. You can see that uh, this is a, based on a weekly option. Um, and the weeklies, you know, they come out, the series comes out each Thursday and then they expire eight days later. So you can see that the time decay is just really, it's like, I call it time decay on steroids. So it goes down, if the stock price moves nowhere, it's going to go down in value. The option is going to go down a, an eighth each and every day or 12%, even if the stock does not move. So it really has a major impact uh, on the price of an option. So if you know which weekly option strategy to use for an earnings trade, how to construct the trade, and when to execute the trade, then these weeklies can produce some exceptional uh, fast profits due to that incredible leverage that they provide you and making them a, a perfect trading vehicle for earnings. Uh, it gives you that great opportunity because of the components that make up the weekly. So how is this done? Well, once I look at uh, a certain strategy, I'll compare several different strategies that I use and I'll do what I call comparative option strategy analysis between the various strategies. And what I'm doing is I'm looking at when I'm constructing the earnings strategy, I look at that risk to reward or return on capital at risk between the various strategies uh, that I could employ for a non-directional trade. And then I want to compare to select the best risk to reward uh, for my trading goal or your trading goal. So, you know, everybody here, we're all different as far as our capital accounts, uh, our, our lifestyles and everything. So you have to really kind of uh, look to see what is the best trading goal for you. What are your trading goals? What is your trading plan, you know? And then adapt your trading around that. 
So there are times when there can be more than one strategy that could actually be employed, but I do this comparative analysis to pick the best one based on the lowest amount of risk with the, the best return that I can get. So I'm looking for consistency and high, high winning percentages. That's kind of what uh, my goal is with these type of trades. So this is a kind of a, uh, to give you an example of uh, trades from the last two earnings season, and this is using my favorite non-directional weekly option strategy, but you can see that these trades are, um, you know, good returns. I mean, you know, 23 to 25% returns. Uh, now these are weekly options, so it gives you that nice pop on your uh, returns, and you can see that the uh, uh, time, time in these trades are, are very short, one day, three days, four days, and, and I prefer, you know, two to three days. That's kind of my sweet spot. So this was, um, you know, the first quarter earnings, and this was the, the last earnings season. And, you know, same consistency, you know, around that 13 to 40. Sometimes you'll get, depending on the strike prices, there are a couple different factors that are involved. Now we've got strike prices that are sometimes 50 cents between strikes or a dollar. So you can get some really great little trade setups uh, with a low amount of capital at risk, uh, you know, doing these uh, type of weekly uh, non-directional strategies. And so again, you can see these trades, you know, are two to three days, uh, preferably, I like the one day the best, uh, because if you get the trade and you do your homework and it has that greater implied move uh, than the average implied move, like I showed you on that one example, uh, these trades work really well. So then step five is what is this strategy and how does it work? Well, there are several methods to capture profits from extreme price volatility uh, that surround you know, every earnings season, and each method works best based on certain circumstances. So I don't really like spending a whole lot of time myself you know, just glued watching the trades all day long. Uh, so one method I use and I teach most often involves really almost no work once you've done the trade analysis and setup. And so it's basically just four steps. You buy two options and you sell two options. Now, you know, this could sound like a lot of steps for you, but once you understand the method, uh, you just use the same method over and over each earning season. So it's really pretty simple once you get down the steps that are involved. So here's how it works. This was uh, Amazon, the last earnings season. And step one is you just buy the Amazon in this particular situation, the $345 calls, and they were, you know, cost you $660. Sell the Amazon 350 call, so you have insurance, and that uh, brought in $495. So your net cost on this was $165 on step one. Then step two is you buy Amazon 325 puts, sell the Amazon 320 put, so it's a put spread, your net cost is $165. So your profit is that spread width, which is $500, so you know the $350 strike minus $345, that's a $500 wide spread. So remember, one option contract is equivalent to controlling 100 shares of stock, so you have to multiply it by 100, so that gives you 500 there less the cost of the trade, which was your capital at risk of $330. That's your max capital at risk, so you know that going in. It gives you a net profit of $170 per option contract. So this trade, you know, it made $170 before commissions. It's a high probability trade the way it was set up. The maximum loss going in, you know, is to find at $330. So that's the most you could lose. Uh, and this trade was in place for one day. So this example, if you had a $1,650 uh, amount of capital to invest, uh, you could have bought five contracts. You made $170 per off profit per contract, so that's $850 total profit. And that $850 divided by your capital cost, that's a 51.5% return. And that was you know, over a one-day period. Now this trade, the, the, the biggest part of the trade is just doing your homework, going back, looking at doing that worksheet, looking to see what the past earning cycles have looked like, and then structuring the trade accordingly, and then putting it on, which is the easy part. And again, I'll do this in the last 30 minutes of the day. So the bottom line is that 
this strategy is the iron condor and it's a non-directional option strategy and it's ideal for trading earnings release. It can be used to capture those really explosive price moves that exceed that one standard deviation implied move the market makers expect are expecting or can be structured the opposite way to capture the volatility collapse that can also happen, uh, well, does happen uh, after an earnings release or can, you know, do both. So, now will every trade be a winner? No. Gosh, I wish they could though, but I guess if every trade was a winner we might get bored, but I'd sure like it if they, if they were. Uh, so what you need to be able to do is find the highest probability trades and the, you know, with a, a good kind of system, systematic approach where you are looking for those particular stocks that have kind of continuous history of either uh, exceeding the implied move or not exceeding the implied move, then you trade those stocks according to these couple of these different non-directional option strategies and they give you a really high percentage of winning trades. So it really then all comes down to having a very selective and systematic uh, selection process going into the actual trade. So, you know, most trading is the trade setup. You know, I mean, if you get a good entry into a trade, you're going to have a higher probability of getting a nice profitable trade than if you get in late or you chase a trade and you get a bad entry. So it's all about that selection process and that good uh, entry type of setups. So, you know, what we covered here and then we'll get into questions is that, you know, a five-step plan First off is finding volatility, using it to your advantage, having a screening process. This is very important to find the most profitable winners, a nine-step checklist to make it very systematic, uh, how to use the different trading tools for, er for earnings like standard deviations and the time value, and then what are the, the best non-directional type earning strategies to use. So I went over one of them that I like a lot. So these are places, this is where you can get started learning uh, about this type of earnings type of trades. And it, you know, it happens four times a year. And so rather than be sidelined and uh, you know, upset or panicked because, hey, there's too much volatility in the market, if you go through the process and understand this type of trading, then you can participate four times a year and make some really nice, consistent profits uh, off these trades. So. Uh, what I wanted to next, I know that uh, a lot of you guys don't know me at all, and uh, I wanted just to share with you, I'm seeing a lot of questions, and I'll get to those in a minute, but I wanted to share with you a couple of emails that I got just from a couple of clients uh, about some of the th things that I've done on earnings, just to kind of give you an idea, um, a little bit better idea of who I am and, you know, what I present. So if you have a minute, you know, you know take, a, take a couple of minutes and read this. So, seeing lots of questions here, and I just kind of wanted to share those two emails with you. Um, and you know, before I get uh, into all your questions, I'd like to say first off, though, uh, thanks a lot, you know, for giving me this chance today to share some of my trading knowledge and experience, you know, with you all. And hopefully, you know, it'll shine some light on some different ways that you can look at trading and learn a few things that'll help you in your trading. So. Uh, I wanted to put that out. I know there's only so much also that I can cover in you know a short uh, webinar, so I appreciate you guys being here today and um, so we'll start moving on some questions, but I also wanted to tell you uh, about a trading course that's more involved with the earnings. So we're going to talk about that now. So you know let's talk about how you can learn more using weekly option strategies that I just kind of touched on. Uh, for earnings and some simple things that you can get started doing right now for this earnings season. So what I've put together, and it's just for everybody here today, uh, is a really uh, course. I did this course uh, the last earnings season about a month and a half, two months ago, I guess it was. And it's a, a three-hour course recorded in modules. Uh, and with this course, you'll get the three hours of recorded modules. Uh, you'll also get the 225-page PowerPoint training manual, which is very, my, my courses are very detailed. 
Uh, you're also going to get two cheat sheets or spreadsheets that will give you the best stocks for earnings. A lot of this, uh, and I did this based on two different screens, and these are the stocks that I look at uh, to trade into an earnings release. So it'll give you that, you know, save you a lot of homework, save you a lot of time. So this will also come with this trading course. Uh, and then what I'm going to also do is for the first 20 that sign up today, uh, I'm going to also do an accountability and support group follow-up Q&A. So, you know, every time I, in the past, anytime I've taken a course, um, you know, you always have a lot of questions that you don't understand. And so this will give you the opportunity to come in and ask those questions. So this course, we'll, we'll have this in about two weeks. I haven't set the date yet, but the, for the first 20 that sign up, uh, you'll get uh, uh, an invite to this. And so all you do is you go to powercycletrading.com uh, forward slash top, T-O-P, and put that in. So you can just copy and paste that into your browser, and that will pull up an order page where you can buy this course now for 97 Now, as soon as you sign up and subscribe, then I'll guarantee you that spot in there as one of those 20. Um, so it's a great course. Now the other thing too is if, if this doesn't work for you, which hopefully it will, I mean it's so, such an extensive course that even if you have little option experience at all, it's a step-by-step -step approach that will really teach you options, period. So uh, if you uh, decide not to use it to earnings, you can use it for other type of strategies. But again, it's three hours, great uh, PowerPoint manual. And if it doesn't work for you, you can send, send me an email and I'll refund your money. So it's, it's a win-win. I don't know how you can lose on it. Um, basically, uh, you know, it's 30 years of my trading experience and a lot of these things that I've made mistakes on, uh, I teach you in this course. I mean, that's a lot about teaching and, and everything is learning from your mistakes. So hopefully you can avoid some of the mistakes I learned and I point those out in the course. Now here's what we'll do in the course, you'll get my four favorite non-directional directional weekly option strategies for earnings. And these are all defined risk strategies and they're all non-directional. It doesn't matter if the market goes up or down. You're going to also get, I've got a really cool strategy. It's called, I call it the Grand Slam strategy. And this is a defined risk, unlimited upside, non-directional option strategy. So it's a, it's, it's a very unique strategy that I put together and you can use certain situations. Uh, and now each strategy is in, the, in this course is explained in great detail using a, trading examples. I have like, I believe it's over 30 trading examples in the course. I call it the trading library. You get that as well. So you'll learn how to select and construct the best non-directional weekly option strategy. And it's based on using that stock pre-earnings implied projected move. So you'll learn how to find that pre-earnings implied direct projected move how to calculate it, how to use it, how to calculate it, how to set your targets off of those implied moves. This is the whole foundation right here, uh, and you'll learn that you know, to a T in this course, and then how to trade that implied move. Should you trade a break over and above that implied move, or should you trade for a failure of that implied move? So this is all covered in this course. Uh, and then you're going to go through how and when to set up the trade, how to manage the trade, which strikes work the best? Uh, should you go far out of the money or close in? So you're going to find out, and it's all in this course for three hours. Now you're going to get in the course what I call my trading library. So it's like uh, over 30 trades in here, you know, based on that one non-directional strategy. So you get to see all these trade examples and how those worksheets are constructed, how the uh, spreads are set up as far as the uh, targets and all that stuff. And that's really how I learn. I learn from looking at trade examples. That's the fastest and best way for me to learn. So you'll get that. And then again, you're going to get the earnings watch list. There are two watch lists. Uh, one is based on, here's what it, they, it's in a spreadsheet. So one is based on uh, the final one day move of 3% or greater over three earnings cycles. So you get the list of all the stocks that are currently coming up with earnings. You, you, it, this when I did this um, screen, it was it had all the prices, the average volume, the earnings date release. Is it after the market, before the market? Percent move from last option month. Percent move from last earnings. Straddle price. So a lot of great data. But the main thing too, it's got this screen for these various stocks. Uh, you've got a lot of good ones starting tomorrow. Netflix, etc. 
So you get that and you get two of these, these uh, watch lists. Uh, and then the big thing too is if you sign up today, you'll get that, um, you'll get the follow-up Q&A, uh, which will be in about probably two weeks. So great course, 97, uh, and go from there. So uh, let's see here. So there it is. So paracycletrading.com forward slash TOP. Um, uh, question, is the trading course taught during a trading day? Now this is a trading course that was taught actually on a Saturday. It was recorded and then I've got it broken down in 30 minute recorded modules. So you can go through um, modules, you know, mo by module and then you also get the PowerPoint which is the training manual for the course. So the PowerPoints, my PowerPoints are very, very detailed uh, showing you, you know, uh, the foundation, we go through a lot of the implied volatility, how to use that, uh, and then a lot of the trade setups, uh, and then all the, you know, defense and a lot of the ins and outs. So it's a lot to the course. It's a three-hour course. Um, and, yeah, if you do sign up today, you get the uh, follow-up Q&A. And I like to limit that to, you know, uh, a small group. So I have plenty of time, and I can answer questions. Uh, so you can really maximize uh, the learning process. Uh, let me go back here on your questions. Uh, what do I think Google will do after its earnings this week? Now Google's a good trade to usually exceeds its implied move. So I don't care um, what it does. I will probably be looking at it to trade uh, to trade its um, move greater than the implied move um, and that that'll be something I'll, I'll be looking at uh, when that comes up that that is on the 16th I believe um, so that's what one of the one of the stocks that I usually will always trade will be Google Green Mountain Coffee is another good one Netflix is usually a very good one those are the ones that will usually in, exceed their implied move so I'll do a certain strategy for that versus one that is just t totally solely based on implied volatility collapse. Um, looking back, more questions. Yeah, the earnings statistics, um, you know, I'll teach you how to get those statistics in this course as well. Yeah, and then SKWS, that was at stock. I mentioned it was up 8% today. Uh, that was one that they pre-announced, so, so that was a good one going in now. Once that gets into its day of earnings release, uh, then I trade it as a separate trade. I would be out of that trade and I'd just set it up for a separate, totally new trade. Yeah, if you have a, <clears throat> a conflict, you can, um, since it is recorded, you can watch the recording anytime. And then the Q&A, if for some reason you miss that, it'll also be recorded. So you're not going to miss anything because everything's going to be recorded for you. Yeah, so is this course suitable for someone who's never traded? Yeah, it is suitable because it starts you out the way I teach. I te teach the foundation first, and I go very, very slow, methodically to it, step by step by step. And the other thing, if you're looking to get exposed to options, you should take advantage of this type of special price, $97 three hours of solid 100% option training uh, using a couple of different non-directional type of option strategies. So if you've never been exposed to option, this is your perfect situation for you to get exposure. And you, you don't know. I mean, you've got to start sometime or someplace or somehow, right? So this is a perfect way for you to start, and it's $97, and uh, you get to, to be taught by somebody that's been doing this for I started trading options in the mid-80s, so I've been doing it for a long time. Um, let's see. Yeah, so on earnings trades, I try to keep these trades non-directional because it's just, you know, that first part of the presentation, those crazy earnings, you know, it can be horrendous results and the stock goes straight up or what you think are just unbelievable results and it goes straight down. So this type of strategy, you don't care what it does. So that's the good part. You don't have to worry, oh, I needed to go up, I needed to go up, or I needed to go down. I don't care what it does as long as it 
does a certain thing either up or down. In this course, uh, there are four different strategies that are taught in this course. Now, I, I pretty much have you know extensive amount of option strategies that I teach, but uh, but it, it'll teach you what you need to know for these type of trades. And these are also type of uh, strategies you can use uh, for other type of um, option expiration type trades. Yeah, and it's ninety-seven dollars. <throat> Here's that link again. And again, if you sign up here today, only the first 20, the first 20 that sign up, you'll get the follow-up Q&A. So that'll be probably in about two weeks, and I'll send out an a email uh, with the time and the date, and then you know I'll get you registered for that. So it's a really win-win situation, and you'll get, I'll put it this way, for 97, after you've gone through the course, you're going to be a much better trader and much more knowledgeable about trading in general. Okay, uh, thank you, Pritesh. You signed up. Excellent. Starting to fill up now. So if you're interested, you know, please, um, please go ahead and take advantage of this offer and get in today and uh, join me in about two weeks. But the course you'll you'll be able to access uh, immediately, uh, if not today, then first thing tomorrow. But this is all automated, so you'll get a receipt and then you'll you'll get the course. It'll be sent to you. You'll have a um, uh, an area where you'll have a login and you can go in and view the videos and you'll get the PowerPoints and, and all that good stuff. Thanks, uh, Anne-Marie. So Anne-Marie, just sign up. Yep, look forward to working with you. You're in. Well, the four strategies, they're all non-directional option strategies and you can find out in the course. $97 and you get it all uh, very, very um, thorough uh, teaching of all the different strategies. The one I just showed you and three others. Oh, plus you get the stock list. I forgot that. So you'll get those two spreadsheets. Um, one has the one that has the, um, uh, it's, got, it's been filtered for the last three earning cycles of 3% or greater. And then I've done one that was just screening for um, the last earning cycles of 3% or greater, and that's got about 90 some odd stocks. I like the ones that have had the biggest moves, so I really kind of uh, filter it down, and I'm very selective. But you'll see in the course all the different stocks, the ones that I'll tend to trade over and over uh, from the trading library. Um, so question from Achi, I want to learn the stock market with cut, but the students don't know what do you mean webinar? You're in Tunisia? Oh, cool. So, well, the good thing, you know, it's all recorded, so you can take your time going through it. And then the PowerPoints, it's a manual of the trading course, basically, and that will give you a lot of great detailed information, even if you don't have the time to view the recording and listen, you know, you can just go through the PowerPoint or the manual, I call it, and learn a ton from that. Yeah, the course is available forever as long as you want it. You can just keep, you know, it's it's yours. Well, I just went through that example uh, earlier in the presentation and uh, that was um, one of my favorite directional or non-directional option strategies. Um, if you give me your email address, Chris, I'll make sure that you're in. Yeah, just give me your email address. Nobody else can see it, and that way I can make sure that you're in. Okay, good. Got it. You're in based on that. Okay, thanks, uh, Achi. I, I hope I'm not um, butchering your name, but thanks. Yeah, so you're in. I got your email address there. Confirm that you're in on that. Now, if you do have any questions or any problems you you can just you know 
You'll find on my website site at support at powercycletrading.com, support at powercycletrading.com. Well, Chris, I think it's a good risk to take. I mean, it's you know, you're you're you've defined your risk, right? Ninety-seven dollars and your time, right? So uh, I spent three hours and thirty years, so I've defined my time and and I try to make these courses I over when I over deliver. So you come away happy and thinking that you've gotten a great value. I'd rather you get more than not enough and feel like you've gotten a great value versus not a good value. And it's just kind of the way I am. And I appreciate your comments very much. Thanks, Eric. Yeah, the cost is $97, $97. Here's the link again, and yeah, it's in it's in modules, and it's on a kind of a portal type thing that that I have. So you're trading FX and technical analysis. I have a lot of courses on that too, you know. But this is specifically for earnings. But uh, I've got a lot of different trading courses, you know, at PowerCycle Trading. Um, you can you can check out my site and see everything that I offer. Now th this offer is a special offer. Uh, if you go to my website, you can buy the course, but it's um, I believe it's $147 or $197 on my site. You can you can buy it there if you decide you don't want to buy it today. Uh, but it's going to be more expensive. Plus, you won't get the Q&A, and you won't get the um, this current uh, price uh, watch list of stocks. So if you buy it today, um, it's 97 and you'll get the follow-up Q&A. Yeah, so you're going to really learn a lot about weekly options because these trades are usually going to you know, be no more than three days. Okay, the course is already you know, recorded, so you'll get the course, and then we're going to schedule in about two weeks the follow-up Q&A. So the course you know, you don't have to attend this course live. It's not a live course. It's already the course has already been given live, but it was recorded. And then I broke up the recording. It's a three-hour recorded course, and they're broken down into modules of about 30 minutes each to make it easier for you to follow. Um, Chris, the can you? try a different browser. Is everybody else okay getting into this URL link? I had one person saying he was having trouble. Has anybody else experienced any trouble? Because sometimes it's the browser you use. I don't know why, but the browser can sometimes make it difficult. Your email address, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. If you can, uh, I'll just guarantee that you're in. Just send me an email to Larry at PowerCycle Trading, and I'll somehow push you in and give you the the course um, and the follow-up Q and A. I'll give you everything if you're having trouble getting in. That's not a problem. And let me just give you my email link here. Uh, hopefully, nobody else is having any difficulties. Um, let me just get get you my um, my link here. One second. It's here somewhere. Here it is. Okay, ah, uh, you dog. Well, I thought I had it. One second. I'll give you my links. So send me an email. Okay. Here, I'll type it in for you.
So here's my email address, Larry at PowerCycleTrading.com. And yeah, I'm not sure why your email address is doing that, but it looks like everybody else is getting in okay. Not having any other problems. Oh, did you get, okay, great. So you had that aha moment. I think, you know, another thing too, when you start using these type of trade setups, uh, this, this, this can be an aha trading moment as well because you'll see a different way to trade. Uh, I like using, again, like option spreads and credit spreads, and so that's, that's kind of was my aha moment, incorporating these types of trades. And everything that I do basically now is going to have some type of kind of credit spread kind of trade setup with it. Uh, gotcha. Uh, any other specific questions uh, here? About to run out of time. But um, still, anybody that signs up here today and gives me their email address, I'll just make sure you're in regardless of if we're over 20. So if we're over by a couple or so, it doesn't make, make that big of a difference. All right, guys. Well, uh, I just want to say thank you um, for having me here today. Um, and um, Hopefully everybody came away with some good information, and I look forward to working with you guys. You know, in this earnings course, um, yeah, the, it it works on Mac. Okay, Timothy, I got your email address. You're confirmed. Yeah, it definitely works on Mac. Not a problem there. So I want to thank Cyber Trading very very much here for having me today, and um, you know. Look forward to working with you guys in the future. Yeah, Jerry, I got you in. You're 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 confirmed. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Good luck trading in this crazy environment. Um, and uh, I look forward again to to working with everybody that signs up here uh, in the future. Thank you very much.